Hey guys, welcome back to my layout. Wait a minute, I'm not at my layout. That's right, I drove six and a half hours to St. Louis, Missouri to visit Ken Patterson here on his layout. And I came downstairs and the first thing I said to Ken was, wow, this is a lot larger than what I've seen on What's Neat This Week with Model Railroad Hobbyists YouTube page. So I wanted to take this time to let Ken explain a few things about his layout. Maybe things like, you know, how long it took you to build or how long you've been working on it. Uh, this is kind of a legend in the, in, in the industry. He spent a lot of time. He's got all around his layout just tons of print media covers. Uh, spent a lot of time with a lot of high-end media companies and uh, has done a lot of work. And he's a very well-known name in the industry. So, Ken, uh, thanks for letting me come visit. And uh, you want to talk about your layout and then we'll kind of show them uh, around the room. What's interesting about the design of my layout is I use it to make a living. As you know, through all the ad photography I do for the manufacturers and producing the What's Neat show every month and then doing videos for my website, I've got to be able to get this layout where I can take it out into real sunlight, do video run-bys on it, do still photography on it for ads. So the design is way different than what you would look in as a traditional way of building a layout with one by fours and what have you that you see in the magazines. It's nothing but... Uh, foam stacked up in layers like a cake and carved down with a saw just to make the topography that I need and then the modules could be changed out switch out with different seasons switch out with different complete scenes as you'll remember a couple years back I used to have a bluff which was featured on the what's neat show because I live on the bluff so I modeled where I live and all of that's completely been dismantled and hauled up to the garage to make room for the narrow gauge stuff that I've kind of caught a fancy for so it's it's a layout that's designed to help me make a living which sets it kind of different from most layouts where you can enjoy it I work on it every day it's my job and through the show you can watch it evolve plus i mean you can go to my website and buy the video on the way the layout used to be originally about two years ago and that, and that was a decent video very well put together not very long at kenpatterson.com but the layout now is completely different where i really need to do an updated layout video which i guess you're going to be doing yeah yours will be better <laughs> but well, right now we're sitting in front of an hon3 expansion you're working on right yeah i'm building some modules and that's comes back from my Midwest Valley Modelers uh, design ideas where this whole section that's being built will be able to be removed in 10 minutes so I can make room to build a large project for a client and then it can be put right back into place as long as everything matches on the floor where it's supposed to go. So I'm excited about this new section because it'll allow me to do video for Blackstone Models when they come out with their new locomotives uh, soon. Well, what I want to do now is just start in one location of the layout and I'm going to walk all the way around the entire room. Just to give you guys a little bit of perspective, if you look out back at my video where I moved to my, the house I currently live in, the entire basement area where I allow my kids to have a ton of toys and destroy is about the size of this basement, but I have to tuck my trains away in a utility room where Ken gets to enjoy the entire 2,000-ish square foot basement, or what is this about? This layout is uh, 30 feet by 60 feet and let me throw in there I, I watch your show I love what you do on YouTube what you do for the manufacturers is a blessing because you explain things in a way that is simple to understand it's not over my head but yet it's still from the vantage point of you and me just opening the box for the first time and actually discovering what's in there which is most of the excitement of this hobby let me uh, say one more thing too a lot of manufacturers watch your show, and I mm -hmm. want to put out there that I do have some open slots that have recently come up in the next year or so where I would set you up on a retainer agreement, and I'm looking to do video and advertising for manufacturers in, in, uh, in the train hobby, especially three rail O scale or large scale, but I'm definitely looking to fill some time, so if there's a manufacturer out there that wants to sell an awful lot of product, check out my website, kenpatterson.com, or my Facebook page, or the videos, What's Neat, mm -hmm. and check it out. And uh, also, kenpatterson.com isn't just... Oh, my email address. Yeah. Kensart1 at msn.com. Kensart1 at msn.com if you really want to talk to me. Right, and for my viewers, they can go to kenpatterson.com and actually buy videos, the actual professional stuff, because I'm at the beginning of my journey in, in model railroading, but you're experienced, and they can really get into the nitty-gritty of the hobby with a lot of the videos you have on kenpatterson.com. There's 14. So we'll go ahead and show you guys the layout and we'll come back and recap with some final thoughts of uh, 
just the awesomeness of this layout and the amount of work that this guy has put into it. It's, it's, uh, it's you guys, just a job, man. You guys think I have a lot of energy? I have never seen energy like this guy right here. So let's take a look at what he's got.
Well, let's get some more shots of, the, of, of it backing up. See if we can get it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the journey here to St. Louis, Missouri to see Ken Patterson's layout in its entirety. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I couldn't believe how large this layout is because on Model Railroad Hobbyist's YouTube page where you do What's Neat segments, you sometimes just see parts and pieces of the layout, but very, very impressive layout. And it's a nice finish, this oak finish you have. Like you've said before, Ken, brings a furniture aspect to the layout, so it's really nicely done. So thanks for your time, Ken, and um, what projects are coming up in your realm? I spent a lot of time down here, yeah. and because I spent so t much time down here, the aesthetics of the room is very important, and it just all blends. Um, what's neat, uh, I've got so many segments that we're working on. I've got five segments that I'm working on today, in fact. I was over there baking leaves a little while ago because we're going to do a segment on how to make fall scenery. I've got another segment coming out, and I saw a YouTube video that you did about a year ago on the new Woodland Scenics plug-and-play lighting system. Um, and i got to tell you what, I was looking through one of my magazines the other day, and I found the Woodland Scenics ad, and if I were to give out an award for the best photograph of 2016, they would get it. Because this is just a dynamite, inspiring photograph. Pretty easy setup, but the fact is they went through the work to actually do it, and it came out really nice. So good job, Woodland Scenics. And that's a segment I've got coming up on the show where we actually are going to go in-depth and study the system. I sort of re-engineered re or reverse-engineered the system to understand what it was all about. Because I was going to take the three-volt lights and just hook them up like we would do daisy chained along the layout or wired in parallel and just put 12 volts into them and I would have fried fried them they're three volt systems and I've noticed that with their system it brings in AC power supply transfers it to DC and then filters it further through the electronics so you get a good three volts to the light a real nice filtered current which is exactly what they want to eat and burn forever without burning out so it's a very smart engineered system and I'm going to cover it very much in depth in one of the future shows, probably March or April. Cool. So on top of what's neat this week, like we said at the beginning, you've got KenPatterson.com. You've got some great videos there. Kind of st several steps up from my videos. You spend a lot more time editing. We kind of compared editing times. I'll spend an hour or two. You spend days, sometimes weeks editing. Um, but the quality of the videos on KenPatterson.com that I've seen uh, are just amazing and it'll really take your modeling skills to the next level so be sure to check that out too because Ken Patterson he does everything I don't know how you have all this energy people say I have a lot of energy I have seen nothing like your energy or passion because you're doing the KenPatterson.com what's neat this week MRH work and like we said like you said at the beginning you work with a lot of different companies um, and have some openings to do some company work uh, as well for marketing and I think the video and photographs really sell models, and I know you take that as well. I think that combining all of it together makes me more valuable. The mm -hmm. fact that I just started out doing articles, and then I started taking on manufacturing accounts later on down the road, and now that we've got the What's Neat show, it allows me to offer a complete package to my clients. Whereas, not only did I do photography now, but I also do videos for their Facebook websites, videos for their promotional material, and then I can also feature their product on our show, which will get about 22,000 views a month on average. So it's a very powerful package so that when I'm selling to these manufacturers, it makes sense. And there's no, there's no baloney. There's no icing on the cake. The sales presentation is straightforward because it all makes sense. Well, thanks for your time, Ken. Very good, passionate work here, and uh, we look forward to seeing more on all the different avenues that you really affect our hobby. This so thanks is great. Again. I appreciate you stopping by, James. All right, guys, and thanks for taking the time to check out the layout in my videos, and we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.